aviation has under its wings more planes than one could remember. Some fall into the pit of darkness that they will never recover from. And sadly this plane is one of them, I also doubt this video will change something about it, yet I doubt the story it has to tell is not worth listening to. Its voice is quiet behind a barrier of the mainstream. But today is going to sound loud and clear. C-430, Rafale was a two-seat monoplane built by Cauldron in 1934. Monoplane means, mono-single so aircraft with one wing. Cauldron full name, Association Aeroplanes Cauldron Frères was not doing financially well at the time. Although C.450 won in the competition fastest time over a measured distance a time trial, also known as Coupe Deutsch de la Merth in 1934, it did not bring financial gain. They were forced to merge with Renault as the French Air Ministry wanted consolidation in the industry. We can see that things were not going smooth on the financial side and political one, but things remained smooth up in the skies, at least for now. Larger heavier and tougher than its single-seat counterpart. C430 had a wooden frame and was covered with a mixture of plywood and fabric. Its fuselage was flat-sided, with a deep, rounded decking running the full length. Armed with air-cooled 110 kilowatts, or 150 horsepower inverted four-cylinder 6.3-liter, 380 cubic inches inline Renault 4-pay and two-position variable pitch propeller. Instead of having a wheel at the back, it had a tail skid, that was not unusual at the time. Plane soared through the skies for the first time in 1934 in March. On the 31st of March 1934, the plane with Helen Boucher managed to hit 292 km per hour, over 100 km, setting the international world record for aircraft with an empty weight of less than 560 kg. If we take a look inside we can see, that the instruments are very different than our modern standard, but mainly only in style. At the top of the dashboard is a starter and in the center is a speed indicator. On the right, you can find an altimeter. On the left is a heading indicator. In between these instruments angle of attack and turn indicator are sticking out. On the very right and very left you can find a fuel gauge and clock. Now the bottom section has a tachometer, oil temperature gauge, pneumatic manometer, and variometer. Next, you can locate a magneto and a contact switch. Down under the dashboard is a fuel flow valve. Throttle mixture trim on the left and flaps down here. Now knowing this, let's go through the startup procedure of this vintage bird. We start with setting the mixture to 100%. Then we pull contacts and switch magneto to both. And we should also open the fuel valve. All that's left to do is add a little throttle and start the plane. Down 4. It is the 30th of November 1934. Helen Boucher famous female pilot, 
mostly known for participating in air races and aerobatics, is flying C-430 the same one she used to break the speed record above forested area near Guyancourt quite close to Paris. Anna she is setting up for a landing approach. A failure that is not known happened to strike and the plane never touched down on the runway. Instead the plane started losing airspeed and eventually stalled. Being this close to the ground there is no chance for recovery and at late night hours the plane impacts trees in the forested area of Voice and the Bretonneaux. The cause could have been a lots of things. One possibility is the fact that the controls of the plane were reversed and thus the power would be cut and the plane would stall. Although the airplane would be destroyed Helen Boucher survived the initial impact but sadly would not make it to the hospital in time. The funeral was held at Chapel des Invalids. Also, this marked the end for the C-430. Helen Boucher was posthumously awarded the Croix de Chevalier de la Légion d'Hunia by French government. The present. Since no historical C-430 managed to survive to the present day. A replica was built by Jean Presetti and can be now seen in the museum in Angers. This museum also helped Blue Mesh Studios to bring C-430 to MSFS 2020. So the circle closes. The end of the story. I hope that this video is at least going to preserve this story on YouTube for the very few people that will be interested to look further into the airplane as I did during creation of this video.